What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 17. Oh my gosh, everything is really degraded at this point. Now, not even copying and pasting, he's just going over the text-based version of the tutorial. <laughs> okay, so um, this one I just kind of want to talk about where we stand now with the training and the results and all of that up to this point and, and what I think should happen moving forward. So, um, so, so basically, if you go to the text-based version of the tutorial, um, this is the script for actually training the model. I, I tried many different uh, models, different setups, and I ended up kind of going with the same one as what I had before. And the only difference in this script is the difference, different number of choices on the output layer. So there's really not much different in, in this one. We've kind of already gone through, um, you know, how to set all this stuff up. Also, uh, let me think here. This one doesn't appear. So yeah, this one doesn't have the add a sample data. So I'm going to go ahead and host that as well. Um, I'm going to edit this text-based version of the tutorial because that was a major issue. Um, so I did train this model to about 40% accuracy, but that's like in sample accuracy and even the validation accuracy. We talked about that before, but um, it wasn't really validation. It wasn't like an add a sample set. Um, so what I did was I I created a true out of sample set um, and found out it, it's just it's not actually that great. So um, just for the record, random with you know 14 choices um, is not 0.14. It's actually it should be like 0.714, I think. So <laughs> that's an error. Anyways, um, moving along. Uh, and then this is to actually run the model. And again. I ran, I think, uh, maybe like 30, 40 some games, and I didn't beat easy once. So, um, that's not an improvement over random. I, I definitely beat easy more than that on random, which is unfortunate because the the first one, like the one that just made the attack choices, that actually did improve, right? It beat, it beat easy more than random beat easy. Um, and then so the objective was to eventually, you know, compete against medium and then train a model on that medium. And then with that model, compete against hard. All you need is like a victory once in a great while to create your training data. But unfortunately, we don't have any. <laughs> so can't can't do anything with that. So um, so what I'd like to talk about is like, like for example, in the actual uh, data creation, I guess we, we didn't actually go over the choices. Um, let me see here. Because I did, um, I did change, let's see if it's on this one and I just didn't talk about it. Right, it is. So I don't think I mentioned anything on this. Let me see if I can get this to pop over. Come on, CSS, you can do it. All right, so what I did here is in the do something method, so this is again to create training data, is I added in these like weights. So like for example, we weren't producing nearly enough workers when, the, when it's just random and everything's weighted the same. So what I did is we, now we make a, a random dot choice of choice weights um, and choice weights is one times however many we want. Basically you just have an eight times chance uh, to get workers versus, you know, a three x chance to get zealot and then zealot, uh, <laughs> and then zero. I forget what the zeroth choice is. Is that expand? I forget which. Uh, nope, build scout. Uh, we just didn't have it. You don't have to build scout that often, so I think that's probably why I didn't find that to be an issue. Anyway, you could keep adjusting these these weights to 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 build better training data. Now, when the model is done, when the neural network model is completed, um, when you actually go to run and test the model, so this is a, let's see. Oh, this is the out of sample testing. Okay, good, I, I'm glad I attached that. So I did attach that. I will host the both training data and out of sample data though for people who wanna work with it. Um, okay, so yeah, in, in self.use model, we can basically do the exact same thing. So. All we need to do is create a weights vector and multiply the weights vector by the you know the output array from the neural network. Now, if we do that, we can begin to kind of tweak how that model performs. But it would be very important that you the weights that you apply. Um, 
you would have to still be you do, you can't just make some victories and call it a day you would have to be still better than random but then also as you keep tweaking this um it starts to like i don't really mind tweaking a couple of things because it's not working the greatest but when you like really start digging in and tweaking these weights you're converting the ai to be more rule based and i, I really want to avoid that especially in the early stages that we're in right now i, I, I don't want to do it so anyways but regardless through quite a bit of tweaking i still could not get it to do better than just the random model with the weights and again, the random model with the weights to create the initial training data isn't as big of a sin as, um, you know, trying to get this model to do well by heavily weighting it at the end. Um, and like I said, I couldn't beat it. If you could weight it and you could beat it, then all you got to do is, okay, use that as training data and just keep iterating on that process. Um, and that could produce the results. Unfortunately, I just couldn't. It, it doesn't beat even the easy AI, which is problematic. So, what to do from here? I mean, there's a whole bunch of things. One is, um, unfortunately, I don't actually have the real image. What I could do, though, is I can log in to the actual paper space. Oh, I'm already, let's see. So, and I, I can pull that up, and the machine's already on, too. And I can show you the training data, because it's, it's, not, it's not good enough. Um, so uh, part of me thinks right now the, the issue is mostly like the, the actual model itself. Um, I think we could come up with probably something better. Uh, experiencing some serious lag here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the tensor board of the training data. I'll turn on relative. And this actually might be... No, these are two separate models. Okay, great. So, um, so these were just two attempts at um, using true out of sample data um, and, and for the validation that is. And as you can see, it's not, it's not going so hot. We're, we're, we're not even really beating random here, <laughs> which is super, super unfortunate. Uh, with enough epochs, we do actually begin to get accuracy will go up. Uh, the problem is validation accuracy does not. So, you know, looking at this, I would just say either the data is no good or the model is no good. We're just not fitting this data. So, I mean, there's like an infinite combination of models that we could try. So that's kind of my next step is just to keep trying a bunch of different models and see, does anything train? Um, if not, then we need to probably reconsider maybe going back to the color method, um, you, you know, using multiple different colors, revisiting that kind of drawing and all that because it, it's really crazy though because like when i run this model i can see it knows how it knows how to do stuff like for example like when we start when we get under attack um that's you'll start seeing defend nexus like it starts coming through and you don't see that other times right so it's definitely like picking something up it just doesn't seem to be good enough so anyways um kind of stuck at the moment to be honest so i'm going to upload the data anyways you guys can play with it i think the biggest thing is just fitting to the data i will upload the model to the model that i have up to this point if someone wants to try to play with weights but i don't think you'll get anywhere but it is interesting i mean it's definitely overfit but the validation accuracy is you know neutral i mean it's, it's really no different than random so um no no real surprise there i guess um yeah so anyways uh, that's all for now if I, I'm going to keep working on it, but if, if, until I find like a better solution, either to better data or whatever, a model that trains on basically 14 or like something like this, I probably won't produce an update. And it just takes a long, long time. Like this, at least right now, uh, these two models, you know, were, I spent a few days on, but the model previously was like days and days, like four days or something, <laughs> something like that. Let me see if it's up here. Uh, here it would be. Yeah, so from the 21st to the 24th, I trained that model. Uh, so anyways, it just takes a long time. It's kind of like the GTA series. Um, so anyways, if I come up with any sort of update, I'll let you guys know. If you find something that trains, awesome. If you think you have an idea for a way that we can work with the model and get it to work, uh, you know, let me know below. Anyways, that is all for now. Hopefully that will be the last time I say anyways. <laughs> and uh, if you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next anyways.